everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom decor haul I am super excited today because this is the last room that I have to decorate and then my entire apartment will officially be redecorated with all new decor that I love I have already worked on my bedroom kitchen living room and my laundry room so if you have not yet gotten a chance to check out those videos I will have links to them in the description box down below and I also have put together a playlist of all the videos in one place and I will have that pop up on the top right corner of the screen here if you want to check that out when you are finished with this video all you have to do is hit the little eye that pops up on the top right corner and it will take you straight to that playlist where you can see all of the videos that I have made I have had so much fun doing this series and I hope that you all have enjoyed it as much as I have if you are new here today welcome my name is Sarah and I love making tons of shop with me videos home decor seasonal decor and and the occasional motivational cleaning video. So if that is stuff that you are interested in, I would love for you to join my YouTube family by hitting that subscription button down below. And let's go ahead and dive into this haul today. Most of the stuff that I picked up is from Hobby Lobby. I also have a couple things that I grabbed at TJ Maxx, a few things from Amazon. And then I do also have some stuff from Walmart and I picked up some of my favorite hair care and skincare products that I'm going to go ahead and share with you all today. So we're going to jump right on into all the stuff that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I'm so excited to share everything with you all. Most of the stuff that I picked up was 50% off. Anything that was from the home decor section was. And then I have a couple things that I got from the spring shop that were 40% off. The first thing that I picked up is this little sign here that says, Good Morning Gorgeous. This was half off and the original price was $7.99. This is from the home decor section and this one is considered table decor. And every other week something in home decor goes on sale. It's either the table decor or the wall decor. So if you make a couple different trips, you are able to get everything on sale, which is what I ended up doing. So there is that and it was $7.99 originally. The next thing that I picked up, this is also going to go on my counter in my bathroom. I picked up this cute little Lazy Susan. I love the scallop detail along the edge. And this was $29.99. I'm planning on putting my hand soap and lotion, maybe a couple other things on this. I think it will be really cute sitting on my counter. The next thing that I grabbed is this whitewash flower. I've already incorporated a couple of these into the other rooms and I love having pieces that are scattered throughout that all go together. That way it can help tie all of the decor together. This was originally $14.99. The next thing that I picked up from the home decor section are these brown wooden beads. These are the brown version of the white distressed ones that I've used everywhere else. But where I'm using these, the white ones wouldn't have worked. So I was really glad that I found these. They've just got the tassels on the end and these were originally $13.99 and I think that these are going to turn out really cute. I'm very excited to get everything decorated in there. The next thing that I picked up is some new wall decor for my bathroom. As of right now, I still have a Christmas picture hanging up in there. I never took it down when I took all my Christmas stuff down because I didn't want to have a blank empty wall and I wasn't ready to decorate in there just yet. So I just ended up leaving that picture up and I honestly cannot believe that it has been in there as long as it has. I thought for sure I would have tackled this by now. So I am very excited to get that taken down and get the new wall decor put up. But this is the picture that I ended up picking up. This goes along with the set that I have in the living room and I thought that this would help tie everything together. Like I mentioned before, I love having pieces that go together, scattered throughout the entire apartment to bring everything together as a whole. So I absolutely loved this picture. I love all the flowers that are coming out of the bathtub. And this was originally $49.99. And to go along with it, they are not going to go on the same wall, but they did have two other pictures that went along with that that I picked up. And I believe I'm going to put these over on the wall where my sink is, like to the left of the sink, but I'll figure out what I end up doing with them. But they say soak and relax. And these were originally $24.99 each. 
I do think that those would be really cute hung on the same wall together with the soak and relax on each side of the large picture, but the wall I am planning on putting those on is not big enough to have all three of them hanging together, so that is why I'm going to end up separating them. The next thing that I picked up is this little placemat here. This was from the Spring Shop and this was $9.99 and this is going to be on my sink and then I'm going to have some decor sitting on top of it. The next thing that I picked up was also from the Spring Shop at Hobby Lobby and that is this woven tissue box cover. I think that these are really cute. I have two of them in the living room and I absolutely love them so I decided to pick up another one for the bathroom to help tie in the Kleenexes into the decor. That way it's not just a randomly colorful box sitting on a shelf. And this was $12.99 and 40% off. I also picked up this little pedestal from the Spring Shop. This was $3.99 before the discount. And I am planning on using this. I have a little basket that sits on the back of my toilet. And I wanted something to help raise some stuff up because stuff sits down inside of it and you can't really see that. So I decided to pick this up. That way I can sit something on it and you'll actually be able to see the item that is in the basket instead of having it sunken down in there. I'm not completely sure yet if I will be using these, but I also picked up some organization items. It is a couple sets of these non-slip drawer organizers. This one is a set of five, and this was $16.99 originally, and then this one is a set of four, and it was originally $15.99. But I thought that these would be good to have, and we will see what I end up doing with them. I wanted to have some sort of room air freshener to leave in the bathroom on the back of the toilet. So I ended up picking up this one from the candle section. This one is the Clean Scent and it is a lemon scent. I think that this one smells really good and I thought that it would be good just to have it in the bathroom just in case. It's always nice to have an air freshener in there. So this is gonna be going on the basket on the back of the toilet and this is actually what I picked up the little pedestal for. I think that that's going to be really cute sitting there. There's one more item that I picked up from Home Decor that I forgot that was sitting in the bottom of that box, and that is this little bitty bathtub. This was $7.99 in the Home Decor, and this was not on sale because it is a year price item, and it's got that yellow sticker on it, so they don't do any additional discounts on stuff like this, but I thought that that was still a good price, and I think it's going to be really cute. And the last thing that I grabbed from Hobby Lobby is a bunch of little floral accents to use throughout the bathroom. I'm just going to show you all one of each. I did pick up several of each item, but I grabbed this eucalyptus here for $1.99. I'm not even sure how many of these I grabbed. I just grabbed a whole bunch of them, so I might end up having some extras to take back. I also picked up this white flower. I've used these same items in other places around the apartment. This one was $1.99 each. Got this cream color baby's breath for $1.49. I do believe I got three of these. That's the only one that I know how many I grabbed. Um, and I'm not 100% sure if I'll use these. I just saw them and thought that they were cute and I might end up using them somewhere. I grabbed this pompous grass here. This was $1.49 each. And then the last one that I grabbed is this one for $2.99 each. And now for what I picked up from Amazon, I wanted to get a matching set of a hand soap dispenser, lotion dispenser, and then I wanted to get a jar for my body cream. So uh, this is the set of jars that I got. It only came in a set of two. I'm not sure what I'll end up using the second one for. I might just have it as a backup just in case I need it for something. Um, but this is what they look like. They are little mason jars and I just fell in love with them when I saw them. For the set of two of these jars was $9.99 and I think that they are super cute. And I love the little bow that's on them. And to go along with those, I got matching dispensers. This one right here can be used for soap, but I'm going to be using this one for my lotion. I'm just gonna take my everyday lotion that I use and put it into this mason jar bottle. 
and it's got just the normal pump dispenser on it. And then I also picked up a foaming hand soap dispenser. Right now I'm just going to take my Bath and Body Works soaps and put them into this jar, which I think is super cute. And I do believe that I saw that this shop also has replacements of the pump. So if the pump ever stops working, you can get a replacement of that without having to replace the entire jar. And the soap dispensers were $8.99 each. And these did also come in a set of two, which I didn't get because it was more expensive and I only needed the one. But for the set of two of both of the different types of jars is $11.99. Next up, I wanted to show you all the stuff that I picked up at TJ Maxx. I grabbed another one of these vases of pompous grass. I have one on the table in the kitchen and two on the entertainment center. This one is slightly different because the jar is different. It's got a rounded jar. The other ones are more of like a normal vase shape. And then this is a slightly lighter brown on the pompous grass. I just absolutely love these. This was $16.99 at TJ Maxx. The other ones that I grabbed were also $16.99, but I picked those up at Marshall's. So you should be able to find something like this or at least very similar to this at either of those stores. I don't go to Home Goods very much because it is not close to my house. It's like a 45 minute drive to get to the closest Home Goods. So I, I'm sure that they have them, but I couldn't tell you 100% because I haven't been there. And the only other thing that I picked up at TJ Maxx, surprisingly, because I feel like I always buy a ton of stuff there, but I got this set of two of these little wooden risers. They've got little wooden beads all the way around them, and I just thought that these were really cute, and this was only $6.99 for a set of two. I was mind blown when I saw them, and I even asked a worker if they were sure it was supposed to be a set of two, because they both have tags on them, and I thought that that was kind of strange, because I feel like you don't really see stuff like that if it comes in a set of two. But the workers that I asked all said that they were supposed to come together, so I guess I just lucked out and managed to get a cheaper set. And the last item I thought came from TJ Maxx, but I just looked at this tag on it and it actually came from Marshalls. But I got this little plant here. I wanted to have a little greenery element to put on one of my shelves. That way it's not just pompous grass everywhere. So that is why I picked this up. And I actually got this when I was working on my bedroom. I've had this for a few months now. And this is the first thing that I've done that I have found a use for it. So we'll see if I end up liking it. I tend to change my mind and move into the pompous grass. So hopefully I end up actually using this this time. And the last things that I wanted to share with you all is what I picked up from Walmart. I have a couple organization items that I grabbed that I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using, but I wanted to have them on hand. And then the rest of the stuff is my favorite hair care and skincare products. So we're going to go ahead and dive into that. I picked up two of these stack stackable shelves. And they are just these clear like acrylic shelves that you can stack on top of each other. And I thought that these would be good under the sink because I have a lot of unused vertical space in that cabinet. And I think that this would help solve that issue. And I believe that these were around $9 each. I'm not 100% certain. I don't have the receipt over here with me and they don't have the prices listed on them. And as for all of the supplies that I ended up picking up, I always like to have extras on hand. That way I never have to worry about running out of anything. So I picked up another set of my favorite chapstick here. This is the O'Keeffe's Cooling Lip Repair Lip Balm. This is the only chapstick that works for me. I have tried every brand you can think of, and this is the only one that works. So I definitely recommend this if you have a problem with your lips getting really dry and cracked, definitely check this one out. For my hair care, I absolutely love using Heritage. So I picked up a new bottle of the heat spray because I am running low on mine. 
And then I also picked up a bottle of the Magic Dust Texturizing Powder. I have not tried this before, but I wanted to give it a try and see how I feel about it. So the next time I style my hair, I will definitely be testing this one out. And if you all would like, I can give you all an update and let you know what I think about this. I do use the shampoo, conditioner, hair mask, pretty much every other product she sells. So I am sure I will like this as well. And if you are needing a good shampoo and conditioner to check out, I personally use the Out of My Hair Gentle Daily Shampoo, and then I use the Tame the Mane Conditioner. It helps with frizz, and my hair has never been healthier than it is using all of the Heritage products, so I definitely recommend checking them out. I picked up a new body cream to try by Heritage. She just released a line of body care products. I already picked up the body wash and the sugar scrub. I loved both of them. So I decided to go ahead and check this out. And I do also use her body lotion, which I really love. But I thought that this would be good to have on those days that my skin is feeling extra dry. So hopefully I end up really liking this as well. I love using the Billy razors, so I did also pick up some replacement razors. I got this at Meyer. This was not from Walmart. I'm not 100% sure if Walmart sells these in store, but I was pretty excited to see them because I haven't ordered any in a while and I needed some backups. So I will be adding these to my container of extra items. And the last items that I picked up is all my skincare products that I needed extras of. I needed a new eye cream and I use all of the skincare products made by ITK. This is the day and night eye cream duo. So you get both of them in one container and I absolutely love this. I also picked up some backups of the serums. They have a daytime and a nighttime, both of which I love. So I decided to go ahead and grab backups of both of them. And I am almost completely out of my nightly one right now. So I'm glad that I have this already to go ahead and open up and use in there. And then I also picked up the blemish treatment mist so I can have an extra. And the last thing that I decided to pick up is this setting mist that they have. It is a broad spectrum sunscreen that is SPF 30 and a setting mist for makeup. I don't really wear makeup. I occasionally will wear mascara when I'm filming, but other than that, I really don't wear makeup. I don't even own any of it. But I thought that this would be good to use in the mornings because I do spend some time near windows and I know that as people have done more research with skincare, you should wear an SPF every day, which I have not ever done. And I think that this would help out with my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and start using this in the mornings as a part of my skincare routine. But that is going to be all for today's video. I really hope that you all enjoyed watching this haul of all of my new bathroom decor and as I shared some of my skincare and hair care products with you all. And I hope that you all are as excited as I am to tackle another decorating project. Be sure to check back on Thursday. That is when we will be decorating the bathroom. And on Sunday, I will be sharing an apartment tour with you all that showcases all of my everyday decor all in one video. And I cannot wait to share that video with you all. So if you have not yet, be sure to hit that subscription button down below to join my YouTube family and make sure you hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video and you never miss anything on my channel. I hope that you all have a great day and a great week and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!